This is the reading for the Earth Trine, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn from Zidane Astrology. And here we go. At the end of the day, as I said, I'd like to give you quality rather than quantity so that you know I ask that my viewers and my subscribers understand this, understand that I'm all about researching, bringing new ways and new uh, pathways for you to understand what is going on. So this is the reading we have in the past, the key, the sight, and the clover, in the present, the ring, the garden, and the child, and for the future, bouquet, clouds, and anchor. And you know, I have some new cards here showing you, this is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, they're all earth signs, uh, they're all Kapha, Kapha or Vata, that's the, the element or the nature of it. Ruler of Taurus is Venus, the ruler of Virgo is Mercury, and the ruler of Capricorn is Saturn. And right now we don't have any planets in Taurus or Capricorn, but we do have uh, Venus in Virgo and Ketu also in Virgo. And Ketu is going to be there for a while. K2 is going to be there for over a year. Venus will be moving into um, Scorpio, no sorry, into Libra um, sometime during this month. But right now Venus is in Virgo and Virgo is all about um, being methodical, being analytical, prudent, but it's also about um, being discriminating, understanding that the ruler Mercury is all, all about speech, all about communication. Venus is about harmonizing, you know, refinement, the, the pleasure, the, the dance, the art, the drama. But it's also about comforts, the comforts in your home, the comforts that you enjoy. K2 is about renunciation. It's about deception, it's about liberation, secrecy. You know that you have, and I always say it, you've been there, done that, so that you don't want to do it again. But probably you have to, because you want to be liberated, you want that freedom. But there are some deceit or deceptions that you may have to go through, that you may have to see through before you can get to that stage of being um, analytical or, or prudent or not being too self-critical. But you know, in the past, the key with the Eight of Diamonds was all about you understanding your destiny, your feet, your, your karma. You know, that is what the key is about. It's about unlocking um, your blind eye, your third eye. It's about unlocking your understanding of what is happening with you. The sight is all about cutting through something, getting to the heart of the matter. It brings a little danger. It could, you know, result in physical harm maybe, but nothing that, that you need to, you know, um, worry too much about because this key will unlock or should have unlocked what you needed to cut through because you had the opportunities you had the luck that if the, this would not impact on you personally this would um, impact on your life generally that you had the key you had the luck and you had the equipment or the blade to cut through all that you needed to cut through to reach into your present and you have reached the present or arrived at the present with the ace of clubs, new work, a commitment, it's a ring, it's a contract, so that it's a contract that comes through socializing. But you know your naivety, your your childlike innocence with this jack of spades at work can be your downfall because you are curious but a little bit immature and Probably because these things happened for you, that your luck was there, you had the support of, of whatever you needed 
to cut through the nonsense, cut through the, 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 the straw, to get to the, the meat of the matter, you know, get rid of the shaft, that you had a key to unlock things. It was a bit easy, you know, but now you have a commitment, you have a social responsibility, but you're a little immature, you're a little um, innocent still, and that can lead to troubles for you. Um, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but your innocence, you're going to be protected. Your social network is going to protect you. This ring, this ace of clubs, which deals with responsibilities, obligations, can also bring complications. But you know, it, it is a contract. It is a payment that you have to make from a contract. And whatever that contract was, whether it was a physical, a verbal, or a, a qualitative contract that is what you are committed to right now you are going to be protected this is a central card your social network is going to protect you your network is going to help you here to look after you to understand that you have friends you have family you have people that are watching out for you somebody has your back and more than likely it's Bhagwan. Bhagwan has your back so that your in a sense, your curiosity, your immaturity may have led you into a situation that you did not see the consequences or the outcome, but it's it's happening here in the present now. The future has the bouquet, the cloud, and the anchor. And the bouquet the, is the nine, um, and it is the queen of space. It's all about good things. You know, it's all about understanding beauty, blessings, gifts. The clouds gives you a little obscurity, but it's, you know, it's about responsibility. It's about obligations. And the king of clubs is a gentleman who would be able to help you, somebody who's stable, because the anchor here, the anchor brings pace, it brings work, it brings dependability, it brings structure. And the anchor the anchor is all about stability, you know, permanence, reassessment of, of things. But it's good things for you in the future, uh, Earth Trine. And Earth Trine, as I looked at it before, you know, K2 has been there, done that. But Venus is all about comfort, the comforts of life, um, beauty, drama, art, poetry, vehicles, your mother's love, your, your home. Virgo is Mercury. You kind of self-criticize yourself a bit too much. You know, you, you kind of take that whip and, and whip yourself a lot about your mistakes because you feel that you shouldn't be making those mistakes. But this is life. You are human. And at the end of the day, you know, you are not Bhagavan. Bhagavan is there to guide you. You are not the judge. The judge is Saturn through Bhagwan, the judge is Saturn, and Saturn is not here right now. You have K2 and Venus, and Capricorn is Saturn is the ruler there. It's all about being um, industrious. It's all about persevering. It's all about being um, controlling structure, and you have structure here. The spades, spades in your in your future has the structure. So let us see what the, your mentality is for this period in November. And your mentality with the moon card is the owl. It's a moon totem. A crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. So that your self-criticism, you will take a step back you will understand that you need to look at yourself in a new perspective, a new way. You need to understand that all is not what it seems. And you know, the, the, the totems in the moon cards are all about stability. It's all about understanding that this is a foundation for you to move into the future. 
And again, you know, a crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. And it has to be about yourself because you can't be looking at yourself to make a revelation about somebody else. So that the future holds good things. There are still some things that are not seen, but the future will anchor you and will bring you happiness because the pathway there is giving you that stability. So Earth Trine, this is your reading. And I hope again that you understand that this is the probabilities open for you. It's not determinational. It is not fixed in concrete, as I always say. You have choices, fate, destiny, and free will.